I am sad. I am sad. This is what someone told me very recently. And I feel like crying, they said. And I said, life indeed is suffering. Life indeed is suffering. You know, we constantly have to do something or the other to get this life going. Each and every day, there's something or the other that we always have to do, have to do, constantly. So when this person said, I'm sad, I said, that is fine. At least you're aware that you're sad. And now all you have to do is just accept that you're sad. Fully include it in your very functioning, in your entire way of being, that you are sad. You know, most of us live in a state of positivity. We think, oh, we have to be positive all the time. Yes, to a certain extent. But what's more important is being authentic. Being in a mode of expressing oneself fully, truly, and honestly. Full self-expression is what life is all about. And full self-expression happens only when, when your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, and your actions and words are in complete alignment. That's when we get to become fully authentic. Authenticity is when, when the thoughts, the feelings and actions, which includes words, are in full alignment. And most of us do not live in that space. We think something, we try to, and our feelings actually follow those thoughts. But then the actions we take and the words we use are not in 100% alignment with the thoughts that we have. And we try and suppress, we try and suppress those thoughts and those feelings. And we say, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'll be alright. What I'm saying is, if you really want to be authentic and live a, and live a life of authentic self-expression, then what you think, what you feel, what you say, and what you do have to be in alignment, have to be in perfect alignment. Otherwise, you're not living an authentic life. You are not living a life of full self-expression. Lying is something that we constantly do. When the thoughts, when the feelings, the words, and the actions are not in alignment, you are lying. We are lying. We are constantly lying because what we say and what we do is not entirely in alignment with the way we think and the way we feel. And then this person said, I'm sad because I'm not happy with, with, the, with my job. And I said, why aren't you happy? And they said, yeah, it was because of you know, several things. I'm not happy, I'm, I'm working too, too long hours. I feel guilty if I, if I don't show up to work because others will have to do that work. So there was a lot of factors that was contributing towards this person's sadness. And since I always talk about acceptance and inclusion, I suggested include those thoughts and the feelings that you have and express them truly, you know, verbalize them with honesty and act with integrity. So all these, when, when your thoughts, your feelings, your words and your actions are in alignment, you are being true to yourself. And you begin to accept this aspect of sadness, of this grief or anxiety or guilt. Whose feelings are those? My question is, whose feelings are those? They are yours. They're no one else's. These feelings are 100% yours. And how can you reject your own feelings? If you reject your own feelings, you're actually rejecting yourself. And how can you reject the only person that you have, in, uh, have? The only person you have is you. People in your family or your friends or your work colleagues are people outside of you. They are external aspects. They are external concepts. The only person you have is actually you. The self only has itself. So how can you reject yourself? When you reject your own thoughts and your feelings and your actions and your, uh, your words, 
you're actually rejecting yourself. The only thing, the only concept, the only person that you have is yourself and you're rejecting that person. So just a quick segment here. If you would like to live in a space of higher consciousness, in a space of full self-expression and an authentic self, then you have to get your thoughts, your feelings, your actions and your words in perfect alignment. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Until next time.